Welcome to Aptitude Destination. Please pause the video and read the question completely. Let X, Y and Z represent the amount of cash they have with them respectively. The first statement says if Y gives X rupees 40, then Y will have half of what Z has. So we can represent it as follows. When Y gives away 40 rupees to X, Y will have 40 rupees less now. Now that amount is equal to half of what Z already has. Therefore, Y minus 40 equals Z by 2. 2Y minus 80 is equal to Z and 2Y minus Z equals 80. Now let's consider this as the first equation. Now in the next statement, Z has given 40 rupees to X. So now Z will be depreciated with 40 rupees. X will be gaining 40 rupees and Y will remain the same. The statement also says that now all these three people have equal amounts. Therefore, we can equate Z and Y because we already have an equation which contains these two variables. So Z minus 40 equals Y. So we will obtain a second equation where minus Y plus Z equals 40. Now we can solve these two equations. We get Y equals 80 plus 40 that is 120. Now that we have found out the value of Y, we can equate it for X and Z. Equating it for Z, we get Z equals 120 plus 40 that is 160. Equating for x, we get 120 minus 40, that is 80. Now the total amount of x, y and z will be 120 plus 160 plus 80, that is 360. Therefore, option B is the right answer.